Hello everyone. Welcome to Topper Learning. Today's video is about the exam review and analysis of Maharashtra State Board Class 10, that is SSC Science and Technology Part 2 paper, which was held today, that is 20th March 2024. So, how was the paper? Students found that the paper was easy to moderate and most of all, it was well balanced. The topics and the questions were expected and there was a uniform distribution of questions. All in all, the students were very happy and the experts were very relaxed that board set such a good paper for the students. So, let's quickly analyze today's paper, understand the paper structure and the reviews of both students as well as the experts. Talking about the question paper structure, the paper followed the specimen paper or the model paper which was released by the board. There were four questions. Question 1a was of MCQ type. There were five MCQs, each carrying one mark. Question 1b was of objective type. Five questions, each carrying one mark. Question 2a, it was give scientific reasons. Students had to attempt any two out of three. Each question carried two marks, so total of four marks. Question 2b, these were short answer questions and each question carried 2 marks. Students had to attempt any 3 accounting to a total of 6 marks. Question 3 also comprised of SAQs but this time they were 3 markers. There were 8 questions out of which students were expected to attempt any 5. Each question carried 3 marks so a total of 15 marks. And the last question that is question 4 which were long answer questions. Two questions were given out of which students had to attempt any one to a total of five marks. So, all in all, the paper was of 40 marks and the time allotted to solve this paper was two hours. Let's now analyze the paper. We will first take a look at the chapter wise distribution of marks. You can see that the mark distribution is very uniform throughout the chapters. However, two chapters scored the highest marks that is 7 marks which were from the chapter on environmental management and life processes in living organisms part 2. Talking about the overall question paper analysis, overall the difficulty level of the paper was moderate. Question 1 was found to be easy to moderate. Question 2 again easy to moderate. Difficulty level of question 3 and 4 was moderate. Overall, the students found the paper to be lengthy and question 3 and 4 were the lengthiest. So, overall, the students are expecting a good score of 35 plus in the 40 marks paper. Now, what is the students' feedback? Students found that the paper was well balanced and of a moderate level. The MCQs were very easy to moderate. No question was excessively tough or tricky and all the questions were doable. In fact, some of the questions were picked up from the past year papers which helped the students to solve these questions easily. What was the teachers or the experts feedback? Overall, the teachers found that the paper was an easy and a well balanced one. Topics and questions were as expected and there was uniform distribution. No questions were out of the syllabus and the questions were put in an easy to understand language. The paper was designed to test the basic knowledge and grasp of the concepts and overall the students felt relieved after answering such questions and the experts even praised the board for setting such a good paper for the students. Now that we have talked about the review and analysis of the paper, shall we solve one question from this paper? Let's take up question 3, sub question 5 which was complete the following chart. It was a 3 marker question. You have to list the hobbies helpful to overcome stress. So, there are 6 blanks. You have to list the 6 hobbies. Now, this is a very open-ended question wherein you can give n number of hobbies which help you to overcome your stress. I have listed 6. It could be dancing, photography, reading, cooking, sculpturing, drawing rangoli. It can be singing. So, whichever hobby you feel helps you to overcome stress could be mentioned here. So, again, this was a very scoring question. Let's see one more question. Question 4, the second sub-question. Answer the following questions based on environmental conservation. It was a 5 marker question. Of these 5 marks, we will be taking up 2 questions. So, let's see the first 2 marker question. Complete the following chart. You have to classify the threatened species. 4 boxes were given to you. So, if your concept of threatened species is very clear, you know that threatened species are classified into 4 types. Endangered species. Rare species, 
vulnerable species and indeterminate species so these are the four categories you are supposed to write that will fetch you full two marks let's see one more sub question complete the following chart a one marker question color of the pages in red list of endangered species now if you have seen the red list book which details the list of endangered species there are two types of pages one type of pages are pink colored pages which list the names of the endangered species and the other pages are green in color which list the names of the species which were previously endangered but these species are presently safe now so in the red list book there are two pages pink colored and green colored so pink and green were the expected answers you were supposed to write in the paper so these were the questions the expert analysis the student reactions for this science and technology paper part 2 hope all of you got this paper right and i'm sure you all will succeed with flying colors in this paper now keep this paper aside and gear up for the next paper which is your social science paper 1 so all the best for this exams in case you have any doubts or queries do not hesitate and post your doubts on ask a doubt in case of any query you can reach out to us on top learning thank you so much and have a nice day